right, how is Blackjack progressing? I've, I've coded a lot of it, but I have a question about basic uh, okay. pattern usage. Um, well, let's start out with that, because what I was planning on doing, I wasn't 100% sure what to do today. Yeah. Um, I had a couple options in mind, but the best thing to do would be to allow you to ask questions about that if you have them. So, go ahead. All right, so the first challenge, when you are, are playing this game, is that each the dealer and the player both need two cards to start. Yes. So I need. I, so what I need to do is tell my function to release two cards, and then after that, one card right. for each hit. And what I did is I created the on create that's already in the code on create method. Right. And I said in um, what I wanted to do was. Uh, Initialize the text boxes and all that stuff you have there. Then I added on start. Okay. As, and I said, in my function, I have deal cards to player with a parameter of integer of number of cards to deal. And I said, I'm going to put two there. Oh. And then later, I'll just add, I'll put one in my argument for my method. Okay. On the hit. Okay. Is, does that sound logical or am I off? Okay. The, so the question is, is when you're playing blackjack, initially you deal two cards to each person, and then you, um, for each subsequent card, for each hit, you deal one. Right. And um, you mentioned that you had a method that said deal cards, and you are um, returning, um, and you pass that method an argument of how many cards to deal, right. two or one. I'll tell you what, uh, again, I, I, I want to sort of have interaction and a discussion, so we'll ask the other student, how are you addressing that, or how are you planning on addressing that if you haven't yet? I to some of my code, you know, because of course the way I did it is the perfect way. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I just wrote, um, I, I just have a single deal method and it returns one card. And at the, at the start of a hand, it deal to the player, deal to the dealer, deal to the player, deal to the, so I just, I just call that method four times initially. So, and then I just get the cards and accumulate them. How do you do that though? If you're, if you're calling the method four times, how do you have a, I'd like to see how you do that sure. as far as a, a coding standard, because I'm not sure how to, you know, because I originally had it that way, one method, one uh -huh. card. Then I thought, well, I, I, so I looked at it, I refactored it, and I said, why don't I put an argument in there, and maybe I'm overthinking it. Um. Doing it with an argument and all that, I, I don't see anything wrong with that per se. Um, the purist in me says that if you look and actually watch a dealer, the dealer doesn't deal two cards to the player and then two cards to the dealer. One, 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 one. Um, I don't think that there would be any significant difference in that. I mean, we're, we're going to trust that we're not stacking the deck here. Um, I have a, let's see, it's been a while since I looked at this, I have an initialize, initialize game method. And there you see the initialize game <laughs> method. <laughs> okay. One thing I had intended to do is 
I intended to refactor my code uh, itself last semester, and I got so far, and I got it working. I think it's reasonably good code, but there's still possibilities I could refactor it, of course. But here's here's my method for doing that as it comes up. All right, I have a hand class, all right? A hand class is a collection of cards. It, it could be a player class. Um, we talked about that before, that you kind of need probably one or the other. I made it with a, ha with a hand class. So the hand class represents the collection of cards that they have. I have a player hand and a dealer hand, all right? I then have a layout on the screen that is the visual representation of their hand. All right? So when we go in to initialize a game, I start with a new hand. I remove any of the stuff that is there uh, initially. I clear out the results from any previous game. I then go and just literally call this method to deal four times. Give a player a hand, uh, a card. Which hand is it going into? It's going into P hand. And which layout do I want to display it in? I want to display it in the player's layout. And then true. The true or false is to whether to show the card or not. All right. Um, if, you, uh, if you remember um, when you deal this out initially, in fact, I can, I can show you this, a new game. All right. Maybe. Um, the two cards of the player are face up, whereas the first one of the dealer is face down and all that. This is P ha uh, hand layout. This is D hand layout. We'll take a look at this method as well. But effectively, this is the method that deals and gives the card to each of the players. And then I enable some buttons, and I look to see if... It's a blackjack. If it's a blackjack, then we're done. Now let's look at the other method, the second method, to give player a card. Now, the reason I did it this way is, what is the difference between giving a card to the dealer and a card to the player? There isn't a lot of difference. What's different is two things, or three things, maybe. One of them is what hand it goes into. It goes in the player's hand or it goes in the dealer's hand? We need to know that so that we can accumulate that, all right? The second thing is, is where does it visually go on the page? In other words, the player's cards go in one place, the dealer's cards go somewhere else. And the third thing that, we, uh, that, that varies is do we show the card or don't show the card? So that's why this give player a card method has a hand as an argument. That's who's getting the card. It has a linear layout as an argument. In other words, where I'm going to put it on the screen. And finally, it has a Boolean of whether to show it or not. Now, this is a case of where I think I refactored to get this, because I think prior to this, I had a lot of duplicated code. Because to get a card, put it in the player's hand, display it on the player's screen, that's going to be almost the same as doing it for the dealer. So I broke it down into a method. All right, I grab a card. And I simply get, call, get the card by calling the deck get next card. All right? So the deck get next card simply flips the top card off the deck. I um, add to whatever hand I've passed in here. So 
if I passed in the player's hand, I add it to the player's hand. If I passed in the dealer's hand, I add, in the de add it to the dealer's hand. I then, the rest of this is responsible for the visual aspect of it. I inflate my layout, which consists of an image. All right. I grab a pointer to that. All right. I did what I complain of my students doing. I copied code from one of the examples, but didn't change the comments. So some of these comments are like from the Twitter search or, or whatever. So shame on me. I grab a pointer to the image that is part of that layout. I then go and I'm going to open up the actual image file to display it. Yeah, I, again here. Shame on me. Used to read and flag images. where I, okay, let, let's back up. Inflate the layout, so I have that new image. I grab a pointer to the new image. I'm going to import the file in now, all right? And I pull it from the assets. Here is where I programmatically get the name and suit of the card, right? Remember, we don't want to have a giant case statement with 52 options. If ace of spades, this is the name of the image. If king of spades, this is the image, and so on. So I'm programmatically coming up with the name of the image. So I have four suit directories. So I grab the suit name from the card that I just have dealt, a slash, and then I grab the card name. Card name is like ace, king, queen, jack, two, ten, whatever. Now, if arg show is false, that means that I want to show, or I'm sorry, I don't want to show that image. So I grab I set the card I set the hidden card so we remember what it is in a variable called dealer hidden so that later on when the dealer plays I can flip it over and show what the card is. But then I set the image to back.png. So back.png is the image of the back of the card. Then I simply go and I create that drawable and set the image to that that was created. All right. Almost identical code to this is in the flag game, if you download that one and see that. Now, why do you suppose, oh, and then when I'm all done, I add that card to the appropriate layout. Remember that arg layout is a, is a layout, which is either the player's layout or the dealer's layout. So I add the card that I've just created to that. Why do you suppose I have a try-catch here? Because something like file I.O. is risky, right? Pulling, uh, you know, if, that, if a file isn't there or there's an issue with the file or whatever, that is like a risky operation. Most of the other operations, like if I enable a button, well, if there's a problem with that, it's going to show up as a compile error, right? right? 
this kind of error isn't going to show up as a compile error if I forgot an image, for example. All right, and therefore I write a try catch to, uh, to do that. So at any rate, that is sort of the answer to your question: is I just went and I just called, I just called, I just pretended like I was dealing. One for the player, one for the dealer, one for the player, one for the dealer. Okay. Wondering one of the challenging things is I looked at Android. Documentation. Uh -huh. Looking for because that bit of code you showed last week about inflating the, yes. the XML, and I'm trying to look for that. I didn't find it in the book, but I can't find an Android documentation where anybody addresses that. Okay. Is there? Some, I mean, is there a technical term? Is there something that? Well, that yeah, and that that's the thing. I mean, that that sort of uh, is an art unto itself of 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 knowing. Uh, in developing the phrases. Um, I would say that um, probably the keywords here are Android, XML, Inflate, and Layout. So let me Google Android XML Inflate Layout. And if we look at the results, the top one, how to inflate XML layout file correctly inside a custom view group. Okay, that's not exactly what we asked for. That's a little more specialized. But that being said, um, it might actually have some of the code that we want. Pro tip, inflating layout for your custom view. just in general about documentation, these sort of Java docs like this, these are like, how do I want to say this? These are like the, the specifications, the very detailed specifications of what is contained in the class, what methods are in there, what attributes are in there. Um, they're like the manual for how it works. but. Like, you wouldn't necessarily look at a manual of a car to figure out how to drive a car, all right? <laughs> so this will tell you, for example, like, you know, what the methods are and, and, and what the options are and all that. But to actually see examples how to use them, um, let's see if they have, like, an example near the bottom of the page. From the Twitter search, favorite Twitter, Twitter search. search. Yeah. Okay. How to view one view with a layout. All right. I have a layout defined in there. I like to inflate this with other. And they have they have some examples. To to answer your question, yeah, it's 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 a pain. Um, that's why one of the things that I, I, I suggest for students, and I mean it's good for me even, because I have not been doing Android development as long as I've been doing development in other platforms, is to, when you're, when you're faced with a problem, is to sort of take inventory. Where have I seen this before, you know, and, and uh, you know, how is this the same of examples that I've seen before, how is it different? And in the case of this, you know, I think the flag example and the Twitter search example are both examples where we inflate um, a, a layout. And yeah, all I can say is, is it, it does take a little bit of time to, to hone the searching skills and to know exactly what's, what's being looked for. Other questions? Oh, OK. 
Okay. Well, we can look at it again. I mean, I certainly don't mind doing that. I just didn't write notes last time you showed it because I thought I could find it. I, I have a Safari account, and I, mean, I got the deal book in Safari okay. online, and maybe there's a difference. This is uh, the second edition. I think we have the second edition. You need a layout inflator. You can create this way. You then inflate your XML layout. And the XML layout then would be like a second XML file. my card XML file and all it really consists of is an image view all right so I inflate my layout and grab a pointer to the new layout that got inflated and then I grab a pointer to the image quiz. How could I simplify these two lines of code? I know exactly why this works, obviously, but it's a little bit of wasted effort here. What two variables are going to end up pointing to the same thing? Uh-huh. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Image, uh, new image and new card are the same view. All right. And I know exactly why I did this. I did this because my first pass I didn't use an image. I used a name. And with the name, I had two pieces. I had the suit and I had the name of the card. So my new card was the view that contained the two text views. So I inflated that, then I grabbed the pointer to the suit, text, grabbed the pointer to the name of the card. However, in this case, if you look at my XML file, it only consists of an image view now. So when I do this, view image view, new card, or view new card, that's grabbing a pointer to that image view. So I could just as well do this. And it should work the same. questions? Is there other pieces of my code that you'd like to see? I mean, I'm not going to put it up online, uh, but I mean, I'm, I'm happy to show you sections of it as, as you asked about this. Any piece that you want to see? That's where I'm at right now. Okay. I mean, the other stuff to me is easy. It's, okay. It's the, the thing is, is um, getting into the Android world of inflating XML right. and doing that. The rest of the, the logic code is okay. something I'm used to doing. Okay. Do the Oh, you mean that list view? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Right. That, that would be another example, yeah. So he's just, so in that code, it's the list view. Is they're inflating the list view over? Well, they're, invade, they're inflating one row of the list view okay. over and over again, and they're adding, they're adding to that. Okay, if we're done with Blackjack, questions. Do you want to spend this time, the next, we have like about 45 minutes of lecture left. Do you want to spend that time working on um, the Blackjack app, or would you rather go back and maybe look at some things in the flag game app? Do have a preference? No, not really. I mean, I understand. I actually played the fly game. Uh huh. I understand what's going on there. Um, okay. I guess it's your choice. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll tell you what, uh, and and this is what we'll do. Um, we'll make the remainder today a work day, where that you can work on that, and that way, if you're stuck with any sticking points about inflating it or whatever, we, we can get that answer. And we'll do the same thing Wednesday. Wednesday will be um, a, another, a second work day to work on the blackjack um, assignment. Keeping in mind that next week is spring break. So I don't, yeah. I, I, uh, I guess I'm done with the flag game then. And we'll pick up um, once we come back with, um, with a, uh, with another example. Your next assignment, I don't have it prepared yet, but it will essentially be to sort of polish up the blackjack game. Because if you remember, we had a design. We had like to do like just one very basic thing, I think, and then maybe to play a hand or something like that. But there'll be, I think, one more assignment where you'll have a chance to polish up. I'll have to review my notes. I, I'm confusing myself here. All right, so if there's no questions, you can uh, continue to work on the blackjack. Wednesday will also be a work day on the blackjack. Would you mind saying what I have here? Absolutely. I mean, absolutely, 